Hi, I'm Natalie. I like knitting. I like singing, although I'm not really great at either. Hey, so I just thought I'd give you guys an update on whatever I've been doing. And really, it's not much because homework is a lot more than I thought it would be, because I thought I'd be able to handle the large amounts of homework, and I clearly can't. Not as well as I thought I would. But, um, so I have made a few objects. They are, uh, there's this scarf. It doesn't, it's not really all that warm, but I mean, for a day where it's like, you don't really want to wear a scarf, but you do. <laughs> if that makes any sense. It's good enough, because it's kind of puffy around the edges. And I saw it on Pinterest, so I don't know exactly where the origin of this was, but... It was initially supposed to be knitted as like an, an I think it's called an intrelic pattern and it uses three different colors and I didn't know what to do how to actually make it like that so I had three eye cords and they're all kind of separate and then once I was finished I just braided them and connected them with the main color or the color I like the most with at the end and my friend actually liked it so I made her a different one but in sort of a cream color and and I replaced the brown with black and then the orange was actually uh it was blue and she was also the one who requested that I make a project that I will mention later but I made it with I think 10 stitches across on the orange and in stockinette with this ten and a half needle, ten and a half size needle, and it, since I knit it, knitted it in stockinette, it curls on the edges, so you can't really tell if the scarf is backwards or not. It works on either side. But anyways, like I said, my friend also has a cat, and she requested as a joke that I make her a cat sweater, but I decided, hey, you know what? I'm gonna make her a cat sweater. So I made, I made part of one so far, I haven't finished it, with this color, which is the blue that's on her scarf, so she and her cat can match. But uh, it's knitted on circular needles that are actually a size smaller than the um, pattern called for. It's called a cat hoodie. Uh, I can't remember who it's by, but it looks okay so far. The only thing is, she said her cat was like three inches bigger than the size called for, so I did a little math and it didn't turn out quite right. And I think it's because this yarn was, uh, its weight was thicker than the type it called for. So it's about four inches too big for the size that was supposed to be three inches bigger than the original size. So it's seven inches bigger than the original size. And I think I'm just gonna have to finish it and then sew in the edges because I'm not gonna undo all this because I'm a lazy person. So I added a few more stitches on it and I mean it was literally just like five extra stitches. I wasn't expecting to go through with that fast but I think it's because I started trying to knit continental style, and it's a lot quicker. I mean, even when I have to do knit and purl at the same time, and I'm not as good as, I'm not as good as knitting when it comes to purling continental style, but it's still faster, and I think it's great being able to work in the round. I, I like working in the round, which is really ironic because my friend gave me these needles like three years ago, and when I first got them, I was like, I don't like knitting in the round, or I don't like circular knitting needles. I like just having like one of these needles, a standalone needle. But I actually like it better now to do it this way, and I'm not really sure why. Maybe it's because now I don't have to worry about losing one and, and only having one, but these are really nice. I also like my bamboo needles that I got a while ago, but I'll talk about that another time. So it's white and the yarn is kind of puffy. I think it was a uh, one of the generic Michaels yarn brands. And I'm working on the second color, which is gonna lead onto the neck and then the hoodie part of it. 
because that's where the two arms go, right here and here. And this is the chest area. And so there's that. And I've got this whole big ball that you may also notice I used for my sweater. But it needed three skeins, skeins to make the sweater, but I didn't finish the third one, so this is it. I made a scarf and I'm making a cat sweater and hopefully I will be done with this because it's a nice color and I got it for myself, but then I didn't realize how much I was going to have to knead it for everything. So this cheapy white yarn that I said was probably generic, feels pretty generic, but it's pretty plush. And I guess that's why the scarf is too big, but this has lasted me quite a while and I don't know what to do with it now because the ball is kind of small to make anything else. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, but I just thought I'd update you guys on that because, hey, ooh, I love scarves and I love cats. So cat sweaters are nice. Yeah. Oh, also, my friend was not the only one who commented on this. I actually got a lot of comments on it. They were really positive and it made me feel really happy because usually I don't get a lot of positive com- I mean, I don't get negative comments, but I don't usually get compliments on my scarves or any of my creations. So this was actually really nice. Like, a lot of times people will ask, like, oh, did you make that? And they mean well. They mean like, oh, wow, that's so cool. You're so talented. But I don't really know if they like the item. So I'm really glad people like this one. Maybe I'll have the chance to make more because it's really easy. And it's just kind of a mindless knit. Don't tell anyone, but I actually knit it in class. In chemistry, to be precise. Because we spend too much time in that class grading papers that should only take five minutes. And so I get to knit for like half an hour and I get the answers to the problems in chemistry and the teacher never knows because I sit in the back. But it's really nice and I feel like a total cheater. But, uh, yeah, I found out that if you use uh, bigger needles and lace weight yarn for this, just an I-cord, it makes it a lot puffier as as long as you obviously add more stitches to it because this one it was like only uh, I think it was like five to ten stitches per eye cord but on hers she wanted a color that was uh, a different color and it's in a lace weight so I had to add more stitches to it and it made it really puffy and I think hers is warmer and I really like it and I ran out of yarn before I could make it the full length of this so, um, it's shorter, and I, f I wish I took hers, because when I put this on, it's kind of, it kind of just drapes, and hers is a bit more up here, so it actually, like, keeps her a bit more warm. But then, her mom commented on it when she brought it home, and apparently she really liked it too, and it's really nice to be noticed, not for just knitting in class, but being noticed because people like what you're doing. It's not just, oh, that's cool, like, my grandma knits. You have no idea how many people have come up to me and said, oh, that's so cool, you know, my grandma knits and she taught me how to knit and, well, let's just say they don't knit anymore. But, yeah, it's, it's interesting when you hear someone say, like, oh, yeah, I crochet too, and it's like, oh, that's cool, but I think, my first love is knitting because I don't even know why. It's just, I like knitting more than crocheting, even though crocheting is easier to make things. And I can't, I'm not all that talented in knitting. Especially, can't say, especially since I can't tell how to check the gauge, which I meant to do for the cat sweater, but I didn't. So yeah, that's about all I have for this episode. There isn't really much to share. Still haven't made the socks I was... I said I was gonna make and uh, I still haven't finished that scarf that my cousin wanted because I don't have the yarn that it needs to finish it because I got it from Knit Picks and I, had, I was already using that blue color I don't know if you guys remember it but if you can it's in the other video from two months ago or something and 
I was using that color for a different project before that one, so I ran out of the yarn for that project, and I needed to go get more of the gray color, so I just overall can't finish the scarf until I save up the money to make buying yarn online worthwhile. So, that's it. Have a great day. Bye.